The curse of Oak Island preview. Team is finally allowed back in the swamp, and they have loads of targets. The curse of Oak Island is returning to the swamp as the team finally receives permission to continue working in the area. This season has seen the fellowship cover a super wide area of the island, from the garden shaft and the blob in the money pit area to the newly acquired Lot 5 to the mysterious well and stone wall on Lot 26. But now their area of operations is about to increase even further as they head back to the infamous swamp. The team has been banned from excavations in the swamp area ever since archaeologist Laird Niven uncovered some First Nation Mi'kmaq pottery. The pottery was potentially up to 2,500 years old, and its recovery led to Nova Scotia's Department of Communities, Culture and Heritage, CCH, and the Acadia First Nation Council requesting the guys cease operations until it could be figured out what was going on in the area. The team was, understandably, frustrated with this development. They had been searching the swamp for a hidden Spanish galleon, and the archaeological team was still busy working on the stone roadway. However, a preview for tonight shows the fellowship is back in business and can recommence work on the swamp. The guys are never ones to rest on their laurels, so they get straight to digging in the marshy area. Luckily, the team had a couple of guys scanning the murky waters earlier this year, and they picked up a number of metallic readings. On tonight's show, the team begins digging at the largest and most promising metallic reading. This means they will start draining the area, and Billy Gerhardt will move in with the digger. Gary Drayton noted in a preview, the more we dig, the more we find. This has always been the case on the whole island, but it's particularly true of the swamp. The History Channel episode synopsis reads, After a long wait, the Fellowship finally gets permission to return to their excavation in the swamp. Almost immediately, they make a discovery that could connect all the dots in the mysterious bog. Meanwhile, at the garden shaft, the Duma's mining crew are approaching their target depth of about 80 feet. They have been using probing drills in an attempt to locate an offset chamber or tunnel off to the side of the shaft, and it seems they may have found something. A preview states that a drill has hit something solid in the corner of the shaft. Craig Tester teased viewers by remarking, that's where the gold signal's coming from.